Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is under the waning gibbous phase, under the astrological sign of Virgo. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node, Virgo. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is the message? Virgo. Mm. Actually, it's a waning gibbous last quarter moon in Virgo. Mm. Waning gibbous is uh, Gratitude. Maybe you're grateful for what happened. You could be grateful for what didn't happen too, Virgo. But the last quarter moon is preparation for a full moon. A time of releasing, letting go. Mm. Songs and information. Somebody could be trying to communicate through songs. Send someone else information through songs. Mm. Yeah, but it's disturbing information for some reason, Virgo. Uh, there's a tidal wave of disturbing information being communicated through songs. Mm. <clears throat> and now somebody wants a reconciliation. New opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. 888, you could be seeing the number 8. Pay attention to synchronizations and numbers, Virgo. So, it seems like some information, disturbing information, has been communicated. And this person now wants to reconcile with you. Mm, new opportunities are coming your way. Okay. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What is this information communicated through song? And how did it disturb Virgo? Last quarter moon, green and gibbous moon. A lot of energy. A lot of energy. It's fiery. It can destroy lightning can kill people have been killed by lightning okay spirit up oh, look what falls seven of swords yeah this is some disturbing information that's been communicated to hurt you to hurt you you know i felt like these lightning bolts have the power to kill you and then the seven of swords falls hmm Virgo. Yeah, they come in sheep's clothing. But Spirit said some information could have been communicated on the radio, on the on YouTube, in so many different ways we can communicate now. But either way, it was information meant to cause a disturbance, to hurt you, Ooh, to drown you. Mm. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. They say the tongue is like a sword. It can cut you so deep that you can may never recover. Yes. Eight of Cups. You've walked away from this energy. You've walked away from this energy. You've kept yourself away. You've restricted your energy, Virgo. 
you had to. I mean, look at this. Mm. Yeah, you are definitely trying to recover, spend some time away from this. Even though you knew what was going on, you just chose to remove yourself. Focus on you, things that are in your control. Yes, you pulled your energy away from this vicious information. It was a tidal wave. It just kept coming and engulfing you. Mm. Some very negative energy here. But you pulled your energy away. You began to heal. Because you didn't put yourself in this gossip. This You didn't even confront them about this. Right? Somebody has the power through songs to communicate. Could be a DJ. Anybody associated with music can influence the radio waves. Very hurtful things. And you know, it would be different if you deserved it. Damn. Because you're a star. You're a star. And so this is a lot of... They intentionally created... Hmm. What were they disturbing, Father God? What? Definitely um, distorting the truth. Distorting the truth. All truths about you. You know, there's so many things in terms of love. Every option that you had emotionally. Um, they could have impacted your job. Oh, uh, wow definitely trying to control and manipulate you that was the intention behind all of this but you're a star seed this Virgo I'm talking to who is definitely associated and has a close tie to Holy Spirit so they impacted you in love and work in any way that they could manipulate the truth against you. Princess of Wands. And now activity is stirring. People are talking. Somebody wants to reconcile. Is it possible to build a bridge back to Virgo? I don't know, Virgo, because you're onto this waning gibbous moon. I feel like... When you walked away from this with the Eight of Cups and the Star to heal yourself, you walked away alone. You walked away in your power. You walked away to survive. I don't know that you want to cross that bridge again. I don't know. I mean, you know, some of you do want to cross that bridge. Some of you need to do more research. But from what I'm looking at, from this information that flowed, it was very negative. It was intentional. It was to control and manipulate you. And when God has set you free from something, be very careful when you get back into it. You see, they see, talk about new opportunities and abundance coming your way. It doesn't get any newer, fresher abundance in terms of abundance coming your way when you look at the king or the queen of wands that's all you see something fresh something new and that's what they see you know they see that you bring freshness to an old idea that you turn something that was stale into growth it's like you give broke growth you you bring energy you know you're fire you set the shit on fire it's like when you come in boom damn yes okay tell me more about this reconciliation versus these new opportunities that's what i'm hearing it is a verse a reconciliation to a Deceptive past versus new opportunities of abundance. I mean, what's the choice here? There is no choice. Okay, that's what I hear some Virgos saying. There is no choice. You know? Yeah, you don't ever want to experience what you've experienced before. 
never you never want to go down that road again some of you are determined not to cross that bridge i mean you are set free from these past burdens and you feel lighter with the princess of wands and the queen of wands you feel like like many opportunities are before you and and you need to look forward tell me more for virgo under this waning gibbous last quarter moon tell me more yeah right Others of you are actually going to entertain the idea of crossing that bridge again, I see. I felt that. I felt you were actually going to think about whether or not. I don't know. There must be some deep love. I just know anybody who tried to go through the length that these people went through to tarnish your reputation, to destroy your character. Okay. I wouldn't be giving that too much more thought I would be focusing somewhere else but some of you with the eight of swords are gonna do just that the hang woman appears you will look at it maybe you know you can't change anyone spirit just told me to say that nobody can change another you can only change yourself whoa <laughs> ten of swords you know you have two tens here so this cycle has ended. I mean, some of you, it was karma. You were in a karmic situation, but that's ended. And so think very carefully about crossing any bridges. You can always forgive, but that doesn't mean you have to return. Tell me why all of these lies. Why? Fool. Some of you, they're frightened by your spirituality. You know, they definitely don't want you to go anywhere with the full reverse. They're frightened by your spirituality. And they also don't want you going with anybody new. Um, they definitely uh, try to control and manipulate your life to impart some negative information through the radio, through the songs that were played. All of that was in an attempt to control and manipulate you. Um, some went so far as to make you lose your job. Others, all of your options in love were foiled. Wow. This is almost, they didn't want you to go anywhere with the full reverse. They didn't want you to even think that you could go anywhere. Everything that you did, they tried to shut it down. Wow, yes, every relationship, especially if it was a relationship of the opposite sex, they were threatened by this. Oh my goodness, Virgo, a lot of mistruths, a lot of disturbing information, seven of swords, manipulating emotions, work, control, didn't want you to have anything new. Took away every opportunity. Foiled it with the news that they imparted. OMG. You moved away from this, though. The star, Aquarian energy, water, air. All of the signs are here. But Virgo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what they were trying to do. The Ace of Wands reverse and the Prince of Cups. This is confirmation. They wanted to take away every opportunity that you had to start something with the opposite sex, um, whether it pertained to work and definitely if it pertained to love. Hmm. Dang. So what is your recommendation Choose yourself, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is all about love, but we know that returning to a negative situation, is that really love? I don't, you know, returning to a situation where someone was trying to take everything t from you, um, leave you with a false sense of identity. You can forgive them. 
but it's recommended that you choose you with the Ace of Cups. Choose yourself over a bad pass, over crossing a bridge back to something that didn't serve you. This last quarter moon is about letting go, releasing things that no longer serve you, being grateful that you're at a point because you're the star in, in the center of this month. You're the star. Um, you're healing. You're focused on what you want. You are raising your vibration. Um, you know, you're at peace. You're content with being alone. There's been a period of solitude, I feel like. You've definitely broken free from this, and now you have a choice. Spirit is saying, choose you with the Ace of Cups. It all starts and begins with you. This is about you regaining your strength, your confidence, your self-identity. I said that before, and Spirit is just confirmation, confirming this. New is coming. <laughs> very soon um don't give up faith you know they wanted you to be with the full reverse that energy but spirit is saying something new is coming soon don't give up hope maintain your strength your confidence you've healed you've healed and he's heard your prayers something more aligned with you is being prepared for you and it's coming in very soon it's coming your way holy spirit final cards tell me regarding love what's coming virgo's way what is the message for the middle of december under this last quarter waning very soon clearly decide mm. So that what you want comes to you. Clearly decide. Yeah, I, I think you're calling in a real soulmate. Something real. Something tangible. Something that's going to last. Stand the test of time. Yeah, you, you don't want to go. You don't want to cross that bridge again, Virgo. That's what I'm getting. But we all have free will. So let me know what you're going to do. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much for your love. For those of you who enjoyed or can resonate with what you heard, a like, hit the notification bell, subscribe, leave me a comment, and Virgo, until the next moon phase, namaste.